Talk about the setup for your pendulum inquiry lab. What you have here is a ring stand. We use these for science all the time. This and this together is called a ring stand. And it just uh, screws right into here like this. And actually what we're going to use to set up the um, lab is what's called a thermometer clamp. Normally you'd put a thermometer right here, but we're going to use it uh, to set up the pendulum instead. A couple quick things. You can unscrew this here and twist it. Uh, you want it to be able to be lined up with what you're doing, so I'm going to put it the way I want it and re-tighten this. Right. And then I'm just going to unscrew that. And you could unscrew it so far, you could put it right here. I'm going to go out of the camera view for a minute. I got it loose enough I can go over the top now and then tighten it where I want. And a little high there, so a little lower. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is set up the pendulum, and we're just going to use film canisters for our pendulum. There's some extra string in there, should be a knot at the bottom of it. Put that back in here. I'm going to just add a couple bolts for weight, they seem to swing better with at least a couple in there, and cap it back. Now I can adjust the length of the string just simply by moving this up or down and notice I have it sitting a little beyond the edge of my table so I could go below that if I wanted to and wherever I if I was measuring that distance I could measure it tighten this wing nut up like that and just to make sure it doesn't slip maybe give it a couple extra twists right here so it, oh, so it can't slip so you can see I don't have that screwed in quite tight enough just adjust it a little bit there and that's a basic pendulum right there so uh, what I'd like to do is have you get set up see if you can get that figured out how to set up see if you could get it to adjust to longer or shorter length strings figure out if you can figure out how to measure measure the angle of the drop accurately and um, we're also going to talk about how you measure the period of the swing so uh, get set up and we'll talk